we got a new camera, y'all. Let's unbox her. Happy Vlogmas! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's going on? My name's Tiffany. Thank you for tuning in. And if you're not new, what's poppin' family? It hasn't really been a minute since I've been posting more frequently for Vlogmas, but thank you so much for tuning in. We got a new camera, you guys. I'm so excited. I got the Sony EV10. It's literally the camera that like all the girls have, so I bought her. And then I got um, extra accessories too. I already opened the accessories because it's not that exciting. It's just two extra batteries. And then it came with one cord, even though it has two outlets, but thankfully I have an extra of these like Samsung chargers. But yeah, so I bought two extra cam uh, two extra batteries. So, oh, I should probably grab scissors. No, like who does an unboxing without scissors? <laughs> I am literally so excited. You guys have no idea. Like I have been searching high, not really searching high and low, but I've been researching for a new camera oh, for a really long time. And I remembered that I haven't shown you guys my other cameras. So the reason why I bought the Sony EV10 is because I have a Canon T3. I love this camera so much. It's literally like my favorite camera. My brother gave it to me. I've had her for years. It's a T3. I think it's like up to like a T8 or something right now, but I use this to vlog in Iceland, Amsterdam, Sweden. It just doesn't have a like screen that I can see myself. I'm always like, you know, kind of figuring out if I'm in the frame or not. So I wanted to get like a professional camera that also had a screen. And then I've had this Olympus camera since like, just I wanna say like high school, cause I had some of my cheerleading pictures on here, but this is what I took to Beyonce in Sweden and I used it to record some footage and it came out great, especially if like really zoomed in and close in. But again, it doesn't have a front facing camera or a front facing lens for me to doesn't have a front facing screen for me to see myself. So besides these two awesome cameras, I use my iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is what I'm currently filming this on, to do all of my vlogs. Um, the back cameras are amazing, but the front cameras, they're great as well, but I notice that sometimes, I don't know, like it's not as clear as it could be, which is of course totally fine. Like I've increased all of my settings to like 4K, 1, the like 1080 FP and all of that extra stuff. But for some reason it still just doesn't really, um, I don't know, I just don't really like what it looks like. And I also don't, I feel weird. Like, yeah, people could think I'm FaceTiming, but I feel like if I have an actual camera, people will like, one, take me seriously. <laughs> not that they don't take me seriously, because when I vlog with this, like I, people take me seriously when I vlog, but I just want, I don't know, I just feel awkward recording on my phone for some reason. Plus, I've been like getting really good at this YouTube thing, like, I built a little family here. It's not like the biggest family, but I'm very grateful for you guys. I've been doing this for almost a year now, um, and so I'm hoping I get more people to join the family and want to keep up. But, yeah, so I figured it's time we elevate and get a new camera, so let's stop talking and actually unbox her. Nothing else in the box, aside from her protected perfectly. Oh, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I wrote down why I got this camera. So let's talk about that as I'm unboxing her. So we got the Sony EV10 over the Canon R50 or the um, Canon Mark. Z7 and all of that, or this Canon Z7 mark, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. I chose to get this one for various reasons. The first reason why I got her is because my girl Aaliyah Face uses her. So I was like, I religiously watch Aaliyah, so I was like, you know what? Let me see what my girl be using, because her camera is crisp, and it was a Sony EV10. Of course, she has different lenses, but you know, I figured it's great. Um, all these are like manufacturing paperwork. My research also showed me that it is a great like beginner camera for content creators. It was like maybe max 750 after tax. I didn't get the tripod that it comes with or that it could come with because I have like five, six, seven tripods. Granted, they don't have like a push play, but I just need to actually use my tripods since I bought them and then 
but I'm all done. We can sort out getting the tripod that goes with this one. But it is, is a great camera for beginner content creators like myself. I'm really hoping that, you know, I can kind of get the hang of this. Ooh. Period. Um, <laughs> so another reason why I got this camera is because of the articulating screen. I love that it's to the side and not on top. I noticed that the cameras that have them on top, if I wanted to get like an external microphone or something, like it would be blocking the screen so I wouldn't really see myself, which defeats the purpose of why I got this camera opposed to my Canon. <laughs> so I love that this has the articulating screen and it has like um, a thicker side so that you don't scratch the lens. But yeah, I love this. I think it's going to be like, please. <gasps> it's going to be so cute, especially when I'm taking pictures. Like I can actually see myself and like, you know, when my friends are taking pictures, I can just tell them like, can you just flip the screen just so I can see what I look like so that I know how to pose and what not. The other thing I really like about this camera is that it is very light. It's not super heavy. How many pounds it is actually. But yeah, it's super light. It's not that heavy. I feel like I could hold it for a long time, especially on a tripod. I'll grab one of my tripods to put it on just to like see. But especially for a long time, I think that this is going to be fantastic. Super excited. Yeah, I just like can already tell like my arm is not gonna get tired and I can like talk and talk and talk forever. Another reason why I got this camera is because it has like unlimited recording. I think as long as you have batteries and you know storage space you can just push record and it goes on and on and on forever. I know the Canon R50 did not have that. I think they had like an hour of record time and then you had to like push play again. So I'm really, really happy that this one has like continuous recording. We're gonna keep unboxing it, but I'm sure there's a memory card in here, hopefully. If not, I bought a memory card that has like 256 megabytes. So I will be well prepared to record for quite some time. She's so pretty. Yeah, you guys, this is so pretty. I feel like I'm like an official like content creator now. <laughs> like this is so cool. Oh my gosh, okay. So, um, let's keep opening her. Okay, what other things are in here? We've got, oh my gosh, not the little like mouse mustache thing. This is so freaking cute. This is like a little wind, um, wind breaker or wind protector, just so you don't, listened or like the wind doesn't get caught on your footage. I don't know how to do this. Is it this way? Is it this way? How do we do this? Oh, there we go. I was like, how do we do this? That was not supposed to be that difficult to figure out how to put on here. Like, come on. <gasps> This is so cute. Are you kidding? Oh my gosh. I need to get the bigger one so I really feel like Aaliyah, but this is so cute. Stop it. Wow. Wow, I'm so excited. Um, another reason why I got this camera is the out of focus or the auto focus. It's very, very quick. Um, looking at the Canon R50 and the Canon Mark or the Canon G7X Marks, they you like move and then it moves with you or you like go this way like it's like the lag is unreal but on the sony especially on the ev10 it like flows with you better granted it kind of looks on it depends how quickly you're going because sometimes it can kind of look like a little wobbly like you're in like space or something but if you don't move super quickly like i'm not going to be doing parkour action shots or anything so the autofocus and the tracing is perfect. It has like eye tracing, head tracing, so I'm obsessed. I think the one thing I am super excited about the most is the eye and face tracking because I do a lot of face expressions and my eyes move a lot, so I'm hoping like it'll make like cool little movements with my eyes or something. I don't know, but I really like it. This camera is also great for product shots, so I have some like brand stuff. I have like some wine from Macy's that I have to do unboxing for. I have some jewelry I have to do unboxings for, and then I have um, like a meal package downstairs that I have to go get and do an unboxing for. So it's gonna be great to like show the product and then it shows it in detail great and then as soon as I pull it back it's my face and like it's a smooth transition it's crisp it's clear speaking of crisp and clear honey from my research it shoots in six 
4K, but it condenses it down to 4K. So you're shooting in 4K, but technically you're shooting in 6K. <gasps> Perfect! So now I have three batteries, so I shouldn't struggle. I'm going to Ghana for Dutsy December, and I'm also going to Asia for like a week and a half. So these are going to come in great handy. As soon as one is done, pop, we pop another one in and we're good to go. So um, yes, great for product shots, super excited about that. Besides that, it's also great not only for shooting videos, but it's great for shooting pictures. Yeah, I'm super excited. I'm so glad that the Sony EV... EV... <laughs> I feel like I'm butchering this name because I've been saying it so much, but I like that the Sony ZV-E10. Every time I butcher it, I'm just going to be writing on here. So another reason why I got this camera over the Canon R50 or the Canon Mark is the camera quality obviously is great. Like the Canon G7X Mark is going viral on TikTok for like taking great pictures, you know, all the TikTok girlies are using that to take their like Instagram pictures now. But the camera quality on here is, you know, e if not equal, like a little bit less than the G7X Mark. And I'm mainly gonna be using this to take video and I'm gonna be upgrading my iPhone anyway. I heard that the 13 Pro Max has better camera quality than the 15, so I'm gonna do more research on that. But yeah, I have my iPhone, which I will be taking pictures on, and then I have this to be taking pictures, but mainly videos on, so I wasn't really pressed for or I wasn't really swayed to get the Canon over this because it's primarily for shooting videos. Yeah, so good. All right, perfect. This other cord is going to go perfectly here because I need the other cord that I was using it for for another device. So I'm glad I have an extra cord, an extra battery, and obviously I should have an extra battery because it came with the camera. But you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, I have an extra cord, I have an extra battery, and I have an extra output. So we are doing great. And then the last thing that is in this box is the strap so that I can, you know, be cute like my little Canon girl and be officially official. So yeah, it's not really too exciting. Um, I Oh, the memory card. That's what we need. <gasps> Shut the front door. Did it come with a memory card? Huh. Wait, you guys. Uh, oh, it's Wednesday. I leave on Sunday. I don't think I can order this stuff on Amazon for it to get here in time. My SD card on my Canon works for this. I wonder if my SD card on my Olympus also works for it because what? No wonder I didn't get the tripod because it came with a memory card and I was like, I'm not gonna get a memory card if my camera's already gonna come with one and I've got a lot of tripods and now I should have just gotten a memory card. Well, I have to turn it on to even see if these are compatible, but my Olympus memory card and this one works, so <sighs> fingers crossed. This is so annoying. Yeah, after this video, I'm definitely going to go buy another memory card because I am going to be shooting a lot of footage and I don't want to not use this because I have a full memory. That makes no sense. That is a bummer, but I'm still excited nonetheless about my new camera. So um, let's see, what's another reason why I got this? Oh, the microphone input and the monitor output. So there is a microphone input where I can attach a mic <laughs> to it and then have even more, um, like more of a greater sound but this little windbreaker is covering the microphone, so it has a built-in mic in here anyway. So I shouldn't need an external microphone because the mic pulls really, really well compared to other cameras. It also has a monitor output for when I start getting big. I can have a cute little setup like Jackie Ina or Leah Fades where I have like the monitor and I got all my little screen screen screens where, you know, you're looking over here, but the camera's over here, you know, when I'm like officially official. So I thought it was great to also get it and then I can try it and see what the little monitor output is all about. Another reason why I got this beautiful camera is that it has the great autofocus, the great like eye and face tracking, great like product showcase, but it also has a great like 
I wouldn't say if it's autofocus, like it's great for shooting footage at nighttime. And in Ghana, like not even in Ghana, in my apartment, this it doesn't have the best like lighting. You know, even though I have multiple ring lights, I have two ring lights, I have like a 15 inch box ring light or box light, but yeah, it just doesn't really have that great of lighting in here. I have three big windows, but they face over here, as you guys can tell. But most of my get ready stuff is going to be here, like facing away from the light. And then I don't want to show you guys my kitchen. So I just don't have the best lighting. And then, of course, if I go to Ghana, it's going to be all of the fun stuff's going to be shot at nighttime. So I want you guys to, you know, also see what I'm doing and who I'm hanging out with. So this camera has, it's called an S-Log from what I can remember from my research, but that's what gives it that warm tone, highlighted, you know, like enhanced look that I really, really like. I'm very excited to shoot pictures at nighttime and shoot footage and stuff at nighttime, um, to shoot short form content at nighttime. So yeah. Lastly, another reason why I got this lovely camera is the variety of lenses that you can use with it. So like I said in the beginning of this video, Aaliyah Face uses this camera, but her lens is different. She has like a longer lens, of course, that's like more intense and shows more detail, X, Y, and Z. Um, I'm trying to take this off. It's actually kind of, even I'm just not. There we go. But yeah, her lens is a lot longer and the Sony's are known for being compatible with a lot of companies. You can get like a Canon lens and put it on a Sony and get a different kind of lens and put it on a Sony. I'm almost certain. Again, this is my little research, okay? I'm not an expert. I'm just, I'm just a girl who wants to be a content creator. So don't quote me, but I'm almost certain it's compatible with various different companies' lenses. And Sony also has a great um, variety of lenses. So I... I'm just so excited to start this journey, you guys. Like, I can't believe I really have this camera. And then I saw that Monet, Monet just bought it. So I was like, oh, baby girl, not the girl, not the influencer of the year having the same camera as I do. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna go pick up my package downstairs from Miel and do a little unboxing. And yeah, I have to tell my little Insta fam that we've got a new camera and we're officially official. And then we're going to Ghana on Sunday, which is in like three days, Wednesday. Secondly, Wednesday's over. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And yeah, in like three and a half days, we're flying out. So I'm excited to start vlogging on here. Let me get one of my tripods just to see what it looks like on here. I have two new tripods that I haven't unboxed. Um, I have a huge, I just have a lot of clothes for this trip. I'm gonna be gone for six weeks, so it's gonna be a time. But um, yeah, let's get the tripod and see, and then I will do some product shots just so you guys can get a closer look if I haven't inserted them already. And then we'll go pick up my Miel, swap this with my phone on my tripod, and then do a cute little unboxing for you guys. Well, another cute little unboxing for you guys, but yes, one sec. Oh my gosh, stop. This is so stinking cute. Wait, I'm so excited. Are you kidding? This needs to be like on more. Stop. I'm so excited, you guys. Like, be for real. I literally cannot believe I'm like an official content creator, you guys. I'm like actually so excited. Like, look at this. Ow. Look at this. It's not on. I'm gonna turn it on. It's not one, but I'm still seeing myself and it's cute. Uh, stop. And then when I put this down, I love this little, um, it's not a complicated tripod, but I like this tripod because it wraps around stuff. Like I can wrap it around like a tree. I can do action shots. You know, I'm not an action girl, but it does a lot. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog. Stop, this is so cute. <laughs> ah, I'm so excited. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Tune into the next video for my Miel unboxing. It should be a really quick video too. I'm gonna try to edit both of these tonight and then post them this weekend for a back-to-back -back vlogmas, okay? With a little vlogmas action, since I'm now, you know, a content creator girl. I'm a, I'm an influencer now, okay? I do have, I am a Revolve ambassador, a Ford ambassador. Like, I have like three, four, five companies that I work for, so I really need to start like owning it. You know, I am a content creator. I'm a little influencer. I be getting the girls to be looking good. I be putting the girls on, you know, 
don't play with me. No, you gotta be the Lulu for the Salulu to come into fruition. So yeah, I'm super excited. I'm gonna be shooting, shooting so much content, but um, yeah. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching and tune into my next video. And I will see you guys later. Happy Vlogmas. Bye. I hope you guys like this week's video. Please let me know what you think in the comments and like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.